Hello and welcome. In this video I want to show you how to decode a Squire four-wheel combination padlock. And this lock was sent to me by Lock Noob, and I'm very thankful for that because otherwise I would have missed a very interesting decoding experience. So before I show you how to decode these locks, I will quickly demonstrate the usage. So these locks have a button on the bottom and you need to push the button in order to uh, unlock the lock. Currently the wrong combination is entered and you cannot push the button and you cannot pull out the shackle. So, But when you enter the right combination you can push down the button, you can see, and now you can pull out the shackle and the lock is open. And that's actually also the state where you can exchange the combination. So now the, the wheels, uh, they uh, do not move when you try to turn them with a finger, but you can use a tool, and they also give you the tool, but I don't have it, um, that goes in these holes, and you can then force these wheels to turn. And what this does is actually um, they overcome the, um, the friction between the inner and the outer wheel, so there's always an inner and outer wheel on these kind of locks where you can exchange the combination, and in the open state of this lock, the inner wheel is uh, held in place, so the inner wheel does not move. Um, but when you force the outer wheel, again, um, to overcome the friction, you can change the, the, the number, you can change the position of the outer wheel uh, without um, changing the inner wheel. And yeah, that's the way to change the combination. All right. Um, I can show you this with a screwdriver. So can see it's uh, not easy to, to move the, the wheel, but if you apply force, you can, you can change the combination. And this feels like, uh, yeah, like rubber, like plastic, so it's a continuous um, movement. So you have to be careful not to uh, stop in between two numbers. So change it again back to the nice combination. Let's close it and shuffle the wheels and now we'll show you how to decode this lock. In order to decode a um, combination padlock, you have to apply uh, tension to the locking mechanism. And on these kind of locks you can do this by pulling out the shackle and this will cause the wheels uh, to bind on the teeth of the, of the bolt. Not on this lock, so when you pull out the shackle there is no change of resistance. But you can push down the button and when you do so you can you can feel a little change of resistance but not too much. So maybe this is sufficient um, if you're very um, careful uh, and you're very carefully uh, listening to what the wheels do but um, I was not able to uh, get the lock open by just using a finger uh, to push the button. But I've made myself a little tool that makes it easier to apply more force on the, on the button. And it's just a, a little barbarian that I taped on a cardboard. And so I can use my thumb like this to, to push, push down the button with an... Uh, force that I uh, like, so with uh, enough force. And the cardboard is just for uh, uh, not hurting my finger with the barbarian pressure. So now it's very easy to apply enough force. And when you do so, you can feel that, for example, this wheel is binding a lot. So you will, so this one is free, this one is free, this one is free. This is the first binder. And when you now um, go ahead and force this wheel uh, to turn to find the right uh, place, to find the uh, position where the gate is, um, you would probably not come very far because you're actually just uh, turning the outer wheel by overcoming the friction to the inner wheel because it's binding so much and you would therefore not turn the inner wheel. What you can do is you can release the tension a little bit and find the right um, amount of uh, um, push strength to the button so that you can feel resistance but not uh, overcoming the 
uh, friction between the inner and outer wheel. But there is an easier method and that's testing uh, position by position. So push the button very hard and see if the wheel is moving and it's not moving. Um, release the button and go to the next position, push the button very hard and now although you push very very hard on the button you can change the wheel left and right from the position. And that's, that's the right that's the right, um, right number then. So the right number, uh, that's where the gate is, um, allows the wheel to turn left and right from the actual position although you are pressing very hard on the button. So that's a very um, good indicator for the right position. So um, go on with the next wheel and one is already the right number. Um, let's see what other binders we have. This is not binding, this is binding. So I know one is the right number and for the sake of demonstration I check two, I press hard and it's moving only barely, check the next number, press very hard and it's moving freely around this number. So it's a very very easy and very definite um, test to find the right number. So now the last, it's not moving, it's not moving, press, it's not moving, it's not moving, oh, ah, it's moving a bit, check the next, it's moving freely, so 4 is the right number, and we are probably not quite right with one of these, so let's check, I'm still pressing the button, Or are we already open? No. Oh, 4 was not uh, at the right uh, place. So that's sometimes... Um, yeah, sometimes you need to turn the, the wheels a little bit left and right while applying tension when, uh, when they are actually at the right place because I think the gates are very narrow. But now lock is open. Yeah, that's the way how to decode these kind of locks. Actually very easy, um, very reliable, ah, great fun. So again, lock noobs, lock noob, thank you very much for this lock and uh, everybody else, I hope you have enjoyed this little decoding session. Happy picking and decoding, thanks for watching and bye bye.